Now that you're an expert on cell division, let's discuss what happens when everything goes haywire. Specifically, we'll be covering non-disjunction. All right, so let me set the scene. We're inside the Sketchytopia Command Center, and there's been a flurry of problems for... That's weird. Looks like that spaceship is struggling to undock. While the crew tries to resolve the situation, here's what you need to know about non-disjunction, a process where chromosomes fail to separate in anaphase of either meiosis or mitosis. First, non-disjunction leads to an abnormal number of chromosomes between the daughter cells. This is called aneuploidy. Remember that human diploid cells have a total of 46 chromosomes, half of them arising from each parent. The most frequent aneuploidy anomalies include trisomy, the presence of an extra chromosome, and monosomy, a missing chromosome. There are also situations where people can inherit multiple sets of chromosomes. This is known as polyploidy. Okay, so let's go over the scenarios involving non-disjunction. Since non-disjunction occurs most commonly in meiosis, we'll start there. One-star admirals? <sighs> I should have checked on TripAdvisor before booking this trip. Anyways, if homologous chromosomes don't separate properly in meiosis 1, we'll end up with two gametes that have an extra chromosome, and the other two, well, they'll be missing a chromosome. These egg-shaped pods represent haploid gametes, and the crew members are, uh, chromosomes. Just bear with me here. Each pod is equipped to handle a single person just like each gamete should have only one copy of every chromosome. Looks like some more trouble may be brewing since nobody here likes to follow the rules. Now, onto the other side to illustrate what happens when sister chromatids fail to separate during meiosis II. The end result? Two normal gametes, $23 each, one gamete with a missing copy, $22, one gamete with an extra copy, $24. And finally, the puzzling look on your face. Priceless. So non-disjunction can actually occur during mitosis, too. In this scenario, it results in mosaicism, which means that only some of the cells will be aneuploid. The earlier the mutation happens during embryogenesis, the more number of aneuploid cells. All right, now that we're stuck on board because the crew suddenly decided to abandon us, We'll mention some other ways to mess up chromosomes. Segments of chromosomes can get deleted, duplicated, inserted, and moved to another chromosome, or translocated. Ionizing radiation and other environmental factors contribute to these chromosomal rearrangements. To show that, here's mutants using an ionizing gun to shoot down the spaceship. Oh, snap! Wait till I tell my friends back home about these mutant invaders. This trip just got a whole lot better. While most chromosomal errors usually lead to spontaneous abortions during the first trimester, some cases survive through term and result in autosomal or sex chromosomal aneuploid syndromes. This table highlights the chromosomal aneuploidy syndromes. While you don't have to memorize everything listed here, just know that Down syndrome, or trisomy 21, is the most common chromosomal disorder. Here's another table that shows the clinical features of Down syndrome. Okay, so how do we diagnose these chromosomal disorders? The most common method is karyotyping. A karyotype is a snapshot of a person's chromosomes. It identifies the size, shape, and number of chromosomes in a sample of cells. To perform a karyotype, samples are first obtained from the blood, bone marrow, amniotic fluid, or the chorionic villi of the placenta. Next, colchicine is added to the cultured cells to arrest the chromosomes in metaphase. The chromosomes are then separated, placed on a slide, and stained based on their size, morphology, arm length ratio, and banding pattern. Another method to analyze chromosomes is fluorescent in situ hybridization, or FISH. FISH uses DNA or RNA fluorescent probes to identify and determine the location of specific genes on chromosomes. FISH studies are useful for identifying microdeletions, duplications, and gene rearrangements. Whew! We made it! And you know what? That trip wasn't so bad! 
So, here's a summary to catch you up. Nondisjunction is when chromosomes fail to separate in anaphase of either meiosis or mitosis. Nondisjunction leads to aneuploidy, an abnormal number of chromosomes in a given cell. Failure of separating the homologous chromosomes during meiosis 1 results in two gametes with an extra chromosome and two gametes with a missing chromosome. Failure of separating the sister chromatids during meiosis 2 results in two normal gametes, one gamete with an extra chromosome, and one gamete with a missing chromosome. The chromosome structural mutations include deletion, duplication, insertion, and translocation. A karyotype looks at the size, shape, and number of chromosomes, whereas fish looks for specific DNA sequences on chromosomes.